Hi guys. <laughs> I'm only five minutes late. Alert the media immediately. That's good. You know, that's good. How are you guys doing? Oh my gosh. I feel like now that I'm only doing two live streams a week, it's like, I haven't seen you guys in forever. <laughs> It's good to see you. I mean, I can't see you. I can't. I, let's let's not pretend I can see you. I definitely cannot see you. You know, let's have a drink. Yeah. Yeah. This is, I'm going to get right to it. I'm just going to write down to it. This is the uh, Firestone Walker Mind Haze IPA. I put it in the freezer. I put my damn glass in the freezer. Guys, I'm prepared. Today I'm prepared. Here we go. Yes. Yes. Mm, 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 mm. So good. All right. It is hot here today, guys. It's hot here every day now. So it just sounded really, really delicious to me to have a frosty, hazy IPA, if you will. Mmm. I already know I like this. My, you know, this is one of my favorites. Okay, what's going on? What's what's the word on the street here? What's happening? Oh, I'm already having. Hold, please. Let me just adjust my computer. It seems to be having internet problems. Okay, fixed it. Let me scroll up, see what I missed. Mm -hmm. I'm scrolling up. Glitter Fallout is here. Yes, Linda from Glitter Fallout. L Linder. Linder from Glitter Fallout is here. Love Linda. I mean, guys, you know how I feel. If you haven't subscribed, get on it. She also hit 5K, so congratulations again to Linda. Uh, Okay, the green, oh, the good job gang is all here. Everyone is here. If you're wondering what the, the names in green are all about, I do have a membership to my channel. It's super cute, it's super fun. If you become a member, you get one of those really sassy gals with the head wrap next to your name. <laughs> and um, you get other perks too. It's not just a sassy head wrap emoji gal. You get, well, today, I'm just saying, if you're not a member of the good job gang, you might wanna consider it because, because. One of the perks is I'm trying to put out uh, outtake reels or blooper reels or whatever you wanna call them. So I put out my first one today, but if you're not a member of the good job gang, you can't see it. <sighs> what a bummer, right? God, you should really become a part of the good job gang. Mm, don't you love that manipulation just right off the bat? Why am I doing this <laughs> all the time? What's happening? Okay, welcome to the good job gang. Welcome to people who aren't the good job gang. People are saying they like my shirt. Thank you so much. It's linked in the description box, as is everything. Guys, I think I nailed it today. I think every damn thing I'm gonna talk about that I'm gonna put on my face, that I'm gonna mention, that I'm drinking, that I'm wearing is all in the description box. Can I get a slow clap? Okay. Oh, Allie, Allie said it's over 100 degrees in Illinois. Yeah, I think today we had a crazy like monsoon thunderstorm, thunder and lightning storm here in the middle of the day in New York and it was Kind of amazing, kind of amazing. So, Sassy Red, Kate, your drink looks so refreshing. Yes, it is refreshing. Oh, okay. Susan, I don't like not being a part of the club. Well, Susan, you know there's a remedy to that. <laughs> um. Other other perks. I've got to I've got to say my little spieli spielins here. So other perks of hi Cece. Other perks of being a member of the Good Job Gang. It's four ninety nine a month. I already talked about sassy emoji lady. Talked about the blooper reel. Um, you also get discounts on merch that not everyone else gets. And I'm also 
Uh, I want to add dramatic readings of shitty, nasty comments to that as well. But I have to accumulate some. Oh, don't worry. I'm working on it at all times. What, just They just happen. You just wake up and they're there. So it's coming. We just have to, we have to get a few. Um, we have to get a few more. My mom and dad are here. It's a family affair, yes. I have my fabulous moderator, my boyfriend Randy, is in the kitchen moderating for me. So if you're an asshole, he's going to take care of you. Um, people are asking, a lot of people are having problems with the, yes, Renee is here. Renee Klein is here. I love your top. Is it anthropology? It is anthropology and it's linked in the description box. It's super cute. I've actually been like wanting to get this for months and months. So anyway, yes, it is. Wow. Renee is on it. Renee knows what anthropology has in stock and she's going to tell you. Um, so some people are having problems uh, being a member, like joining. It depends on the device you're on. I think the easiest thing to do is if you're on a laptop, uh, then it's, it's just like a huge join button. I know some people have problems if they're on iPads. I always say just like if you have a laptop, just join on there. I think it's pretty easy to join on a, an, an Apple phone as well. So anyway, yes, if everyone could please hit the thumbs up button, that would be awesome sauce. If you could also subscribe if you haven't, I mean, if you haven't, like what are you even doing? But please hit subscribe. And I have to also mention, if you don't know already, oh, there's a gnat. Um, I have masks out. I have Kate the Great Beauty, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up masks. And I have linked that in the description box as well because I know some people were having problems accessing it through YouTube. So just click on the link in my description box. Guys, they're selling like hot cakes. <laughs> you guys are the best. Like seriously, wowzers. Um, so anyway, very excited. I'm very excited to get mine. I ordered all three colors. I'm gonna be ready to fight COVID-19 in my back it up mask. Um, I'm just scrolling to see what I missed. Hi, Arturo. Christian Milano said no assholes in the house. That's right. We can only hope, but Georgia, I, I can't wait for my mask to get here. It's a man. It's mandatory for our country. Absolutely. Oh, Susan sent a super chat. Susan Midkiff, thank you for the $4.99. So that's what you, another thing you can do, super chats. We all love a good super chat. Always have that option, super fun, super colorful. How many times can I say super? Let's find out together. Um, also, you could donate that, which you would send in a super ch chat to my Venmo PayPal if you don't want YouTube to get the 30% cut. That is, an that is also an option. You can also do none of those things and just sit on your ass and drink things and watch me put on makeup because I just, all I want is for you to be here. Okay, <laughs> Susan Midkiff, wait, I'm in, am I in the club? Susan, you have to join. I do appreciate the super chat, but the super chat doesn't, that's not the join button. It's a little different. Um, but thank you for this. Oh, I see. I see. Ooh, you sent a super chat. Got it. Got it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. You sent a super chat, which I will gladly take. But if you want to be a member, you have to join. Okay. Um... Oh, Better Off Red is here. Hi, Better Off Red. She said you can't join from your phone. Okay, I didn't know that. You cannot join from your phone. I think, yeah, that's good to know. Lana Levin. Wow, what a great, what a great name. That sounds so like 70s bombshell, doesn't it? Kate, it's my 60th birthday and I thought, what do I want to do tonight? And it was a clear winner to join this fabulous group and watch, watch you live. Ordered my masks and can't wait to get them. What a sweet comment. Well, happy birthday, Lana Levin. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lana. Happy birthday to you. 
happy birthday, Lana. Oh. Mm. Yes. Yes, take that drink after singing happy birthday. Micro, Mimi Micro, new sub to both Sarah and Melanie. Loved the collaboration. Yeah, thank you. That was a good collaboration, if I do say so myself. If you haven't checked it out, we did the eyeshadow palette tag. Get on it. Okay. I have to show you guys some pretty amazing things that were sent to me. Um, I have amazing things sent to me all the time now that I have... Wow, my hair is just like really picking up all the purple... <laughs> You just never know how you're going to look until you go live. Did you know that? It's really it's really what everyone wants in life. You just don't know how you're going to look until you're just in front of a bunch of people and then you have to adjust. Isn't that what you want? It's what I want. Okay, that's yeah, that's much better. Um I want to talk about some awesome things that were sent to me. You guys are totally spoiling me. The first of which is a is a drum roll situation. Okay. Joan M sent me this candle. This candle deserves its own damn video, okay? With this note enclosed, I'm going to pull it out. Don't you worry, it's going to be a whole situation. This is from the Harlem Candle Company. Um I I have been aware. I think I've heard of the Harlem Candle Company, but I've never had the pleasure of owning any of their candles until now. Okay. Harlem Candle Company on their fancy ass paper. Hi, Kate and Randy. I don't know if you burn candles. What kind of question is that? I don't know if you burn candles, but I thought a candle from the Harlem Candle Company would be appropriate for you Harlem dwellers. I hope you enjoy it. Always enjoy your videos and live streams, Joan M. So I want to thank Joan M. so much for this because well, I'm going to show you why. This candle is bougie AF and it is, I think maybe, maybe the best candle I've ever owned. <laughs> I'm kind of a candle expert, so like, this is the Savoy candle. It is a soy blend candle. And yes, I have, I did, I did start to burn it because I, I couldn't help myself. Okay. But it's very special. And the reason why it's special is, well, I'm going to tell you because it's written on this. I'm going to do a dramatic reading of this card and you're going to like it. First of all, can we just look at how gorgeous this is? So this is the nightclub map of Harlem Savoy luxury candle. How amazing is that? This whole thing is 22 karat gold. All of this illustration, it's a it's an illustration from 1933. Well, now I'm just telling you what the card says, so let me back it up. Des Designed in 22 karat gold, this limited edition glass features the nightclub map of Harlem illustration created by E. Sims Candle, sorry, created by E. Sims Campbell in 1932. 32. Fragrance with our popular Savoy scent, you will experience a luscious overture of black currant, tart mandarin, crisp green apple, and juicy pear, which evolves into a flirtatious heart of lily of the valley and jasmine petals. Sensual sandalwood and sheer musk perfectly balance this intoxicating blend. Wait for it. Wait for it. After burning this candle, it becomes a dazzling cocktail glass. What the hell? <sighs> Do you understand what I'm saying to you right now? This is not only a candle. This is a damn cocktail glass when you're finished. I don't even know if there's anything else left in life at this point. Steph's beauty stash. You, you hit gold with that one. I'm telling you, Joan M. Joan M. and the Harlem Candle Company. Slow clap with vibrato. Can you hear the vibrato? It's so good. I wish I could show you like all the detail. I mean, I, I don't think you're going to be able to see it because live stream quality is not the greatest, but um, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. I should, well, I cannot describe scents to save my life. So thank God this was in here. But all I have to say is 
it is the per it's not fruity it's not it's not any one thing it is the perfectly balanced candle it's not like too feminine it's not too masculine it is just it's perfect i don't i just threw that across the room that's how angry i am about this okay another thing that's really awesome about this i actually didn't even fully realize this until a couple hours ago but tomorrow is a blackout tuesday um so that we can amplify black voices and we can amplify black black owned businesses winner winner chicken dinner can we talk about how this is a black owned business in harlem so if you're looking for a fabulous place to spend your money that's black owned you better get on over there okay you know what I did. Oh, you know what I did. I linked that shit in the description box. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> Joan M. nailed it to the damn ground. Oh, Eliza F. says, I can second how amazing Harlem Candle Company is. Their candles are the best. Well, there you have it. Um... Someone else must have talked about it because she's seconding. Or maybe it was, oh, it's just me. She's just seconding what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, yes, yes, I. Everyone's loving the candle. And it burns so beautifully. It burns slowly. Is it Savoy or Savoy? I thought it was Savoy. I thought it was Savoy. Randy. Uh, I honestly don't know. Did I? Am I? Am I screwing up right now? <laughs> it's Savoy. Okay. Oh God. I'm really nervous. I thought it was Savoy. Yeah, it's Savoy. Oh God. See why? Why do you make me question myself like that? Okay. Great. Liz Chambers, it's so dang hot here. I'm about to buy a fallopian fan. Well, you better get on it because you you haven't lived until you've owned a fallopian fan. Um, Lawn 11, beautiful. I'll have to add a candle to the masks, the ILNP, Patrick Todd blushes, Charlotte Tilbury bronzers. Shall I go on? <laughs> Sorry. Is there a link? Yes, Sarah Goldfarb, there is a link. I linked it in the description box. I'm telling you guys, I was on top of it, okay? That candle is in the description box. Get on it. Okay. Now, I got a, a postcard. Very sweet. This is a second postcard from um, Steph. This is the 4th of July postcard happy fourth kate i hope you have the best holiday with fireworks thanks for all the amazing videos they're the best in these hard times don't give up the ship steph thank you steph for the postcard so so sweet okay so those are my whatever my reading reading of the mail and unboxing and all that stuff of my amazing subscribers again you guys are just like too much you're too much sorry the fallopian fan if you don't know it's an it's it's a neck fan and I didn't charge it. So I don't have it right now, but it's okay. Cause I have my quiet AC over here, but this is Sherry Ford sent this to me and it's truly a lifesaver. I didn't like that, but I will afterward. <laughs> okay. Did I get something in Venmo? Oh, oh, oh shoot. I missed something. I missed something. Did I miss something? I don't, Cece, I don't, I don't see anything. Well, okay. All right, I don't like where I'm standing. I just looked at myself in, in my <laughs> computer, looked at myself in the computer and I feel like this is a much better choice. <sighs> okay, so. So, guys, you know what we're doing today? We are 
well, we're doing a get ready with me. What's new? Um, I thought I would do like a full face of like new favorites, new meaning in the last month or so, right? Like that's new. So I, I feel like I have a pretty good compilation of things here. Um, again, everything is linked in the description. I'm going to start shortening that. It's in the description box. Mm. Um, oh, Cess 101010. Wow, that's, <laughs> that's quite a handle. Um, first time joining a happy hour. Hello from Colorado. Well, hello. CC, are you saying you sent me something in Venmo and I'm ignoring it? Is that what's happening? Because I don't, I don't see that. Also, hold on. <laughs> I am like over here. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh. I got a Venmo. I got a Venmo. CC, $100. Damn, girl. Damn you. Try again for all the laughs. Oh, my goodness. $100. CC, you're too much with your Venmos. Thank you so much. I'm going to, just for good measure, move, <laughs> move this back. This whole live stream is just going to be, like, me, like, moving the camera around, like, like a fourth of an inch. Is that okay? Do you like that? Yeah? Okay, cool. Mm. Yes. That made me sweat. The $100 Venmo literally like made like sweat just spurt out of my sweat glands. And I have the AC on, okay? Oh, Lauren said I look perfect. Thank you. Okay, let's get down to it, you know? Let me see. So we have 270. Now's where I turn into, I'm going to be demanding. We have a, 275 people watching, which is amazing, first of all. Let's just say that. Second of all, I need to see more thumbs up. Thumbs ups, okay? Okay. Come on. Okay. Listen, I'm telling you right now, you might get tired of me. You might get tired of me saying things like that, but if you don't ask for it, you don't get it. <laughs> and I'm here to tell you, you are your biggest advocate. <laughs> okay. No, you guys are my biggest advocates too. I'm, I'm, that's not true. Back it up, 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 back it up. Okay. Oh, Sharon said, I'm perfectly centered now between the TV and the headboard. Yes. This was my goal. It only took me 23 minutes to get perfectly centered. It's amazing. Okay. So, oh, my nail color is so summer and mojito-y. Thank you. Oh, I forgot to link. Well, it's okay. I don't even have a link for this, but... Um, oh, Stephanie Rogers, I am the last human alive without PayPal and Venmo, so YouTube will get their cut. Thanks so much for always entertaining. Stephanie, listen, give YouTube some money. They they need it too. I'm just, <laughs> just kidding. I just love Super Chats. I really do, like uh, truly. And yours is bright orange. Thank you so much for the $20 Super Chat. <laughs> so sweet. Um, how am I liking my new bed, guys? The new bed is life changing. It's life changing. When I move, when we move, there's no sound. I don't even know what that means in life. I'm just used to a very prolonged period of creaking when I get up to get water. So, um, no, there is Sarah Kleinsmith is here. My friend Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Um, okay, there is not an affiliate link for ILNP, so don't even worry about it. I'll just tell you what this is. Um, it's it's a damn shit. Whatever. It's fine. It's just like I love IL ILNP so much. I'm obsessed. I now have like 11 of their nail colors. This one is called Short Circuit, and it is. Do I have it right here? Yes, I do. It is green with like a yellow shift to it. 
And um, what I love about these is that the handles are matte. So they're like very satisfying to touch. Just saying. Cindy, Cindy, Cindy Heidel. Okay, so on the 4th of, so full face to favorites, let's go. Guys, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry this is the first product because it's bougie as hell. But listen, when something's good, something's good. This was sent to me by Tanya Wood. This is the first package I ever received with my, my new uh, P.O. box or what, it's not actually a P.O. box, it's a UPS box, doesn't matter. Anyway, this, this was sent to me by Tanya and it is truly incredible. It is the Victoria Beckham by Augustinus Bader. That's extra. Um, and it is the Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturizer. Okay, which is basically, I know Michelle Wong just put out a video on their, uh, the Victoria Beckham Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturizer. They came out like a golden one or something. So if you're interested, you should check that out. But anyway, it's basically like incredible skincare. So I showered and washed my, my face, but I didn't really put a lot of skincare on because this kind of serves that purpose. Linda, live your life. I thought that was mascara. Whoa, Linda. That's a very substantial, chunky mascara. Yeah, Michelle loves this. She's a big, big fan. And I don't own anything else by Victoria Beckham, but I mean, is there a scent to it? No. No, there's not which I know. Oh, oh, I missed, I missed a PayPal. I missed a PayPal. Hold on. Let me just rub this million dollar shit into my face and then I'll, I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. Oh my God. Sherry Ford sent a Dan super chat. hundred dollars. Sherry Ford is in bright red. My internet is down so I can't Venmo. Damn you, YouTube. Take your 30%. Happy Monday, everyone. Sherry, you know what? Like I said, like I said, I'm not mad about a bright, shiny <laughs> super chat. <laughs> whoop, whoop, Sherry Ford is in the his house. <laughs> Sassy red. Okay, well that just happened, Sherry Ford. I mean, you're a, you're a, you're basically a national treasure. So, and then I'm, I know that I've got a PayPal here that I'm checking out. Archel Duncan, $50, thank you. Archel Duncan, thank you. I've never even heard of you before, but I'm obsessed with your name. And thank you so much for the PayPal. That is truly, you guys are the best, like, honestly. I'm sweating again, I'm sweating again. But you know what, actually, you might think that I, oh, maybe it's because of the shirt you're wearing. No, no, because I'm here to tell you this damn like design is just like flowy, like boho good goodness. It's so cute. Look at the back, look at the front. And it's just very like, I'm obsessed. I bought like three of these. They're chic yet cool. Just saying. Jennifer Kleinrock, Kate, have you ever participated in tap omania? N no, does that in involve tap dancing? N no, definitely not. Nor shall I ever. What is that? <laughs> um What I'm sorry, there's so many things happening. I'm just like Okay. Well, it's a good thing because, you know, we really needed this to sink in. You know, we needed to give this some, this Victoria Beckham some time. Okay, moving on. We, we're all just gonna wonder what Tapamania is while we move on. Actually, I'm just realizing I'm drinking this hazy IPA out of 
my favorite beer glass we have, and it is the Revolver Brewing beer glass. Well, does anyone out there know about Revolver beer? Because my God, I my parents lived in Fort Worth for a period of time, and I loved I actually loved Fort Worth when I would visit. And Revolver is my most favorite beer I have ever found, and I cannot get it here. I cannot get it. And my favorite beer that they make is Blood and Honey. Guys, if you like beer, run, do not walk, try to find Blood and Honey. It is so incredible. And as much as I love this Mind Haze, it ain't a Revolver Blood and Honey. So I'm just saying, If anyone is privy to some blood and honey, maybe, oh, I don't know, send it my way, please. I'll pay you. I, I love it so much. There, It's like crickets. No one knows anything about this beer. That's what I'm saying. It's very, very hard to find and it's my favorite. My dad knows it is blood orange. It's not blood orange and honey. And it is like a sweet, sweet nectar of a beer. If anyone lives in Texas and can hook me up, let's talk. Let's talk about it. Okay. Oh, Carly C. Oh, dang, that's actually a great idea. I'm in Houston, so I could send it. Well, Carly. Okay. <laughs> Listen. I mean, if you want to, like, you don't have to, but like, if you want to, um, I'm just saying it is like, it is the one thing I cannot buy. I cannot find, I cannot buy. It's just not even an option. Um, <clears throat> okay. Moving on. The color pop. We used this last time, but I've used it several times since. I did put on makeup for the 4th of July for no reason other than to just put on makeup. Um, and I used this and I wore it all day. It was fantastic. I just don't understand what wizardry is behind ColourPop. This, okay, so this is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation, which is a medium coverage foundation. It's a little bit um, heavier coverage compared to the tinted moisturizer. Um, and I love it. I love it. It's $16 and it performs like a damn dream. It is currently available at Ulta. It might be available at ColourPop now too, but I linked it through Ulta. Um, I just love it. If you're a person who likes a medium coverage, this is going to be your jam. Jamie K is back. She's back. Ageless Beauty 416, I made it to the live. It's been a while. Darn work getting in the way. Well, I'm glad you made it. Welcome. Audrey Howler, I just looked it up. Tapomania is thousands of tap dancers doing the same routine. Oh, I'm never going to do that. That sounds terrible. I mean, it sounds great if you want to do it. Like, I'll watch it. But I don't want to do that. God, no. Guys, I don't like group activities. Okay. <laughs> I actually was... I, I did take tap for years, and I actually wasn't terrible at it. But, I mean, I just... It's, it's gone now. It's gone. Jennifer Kleinrock. No! Jennifer... You don't want to see me in Tapamania. I don't know why you're upset. <laughs> Go watch Tap Dancers. <laughs> oh, man. Liz Chambers. Good Lord, I hate group activities. If there's more than four people doing anything, I'm out. Exactly. You know, we don't need that. I don't need to be a part of that, really. I love this because I feel like it's it, it's not sometimes with medium foundations they're too much for me even that it feels heavy and I feel ancient 
like an ancient cakey apple witch. And this feels fresh. It feels fresh, as in pretty fresh. I'm just patting this in for like, for days. <laughs> yes, Sher Sharon, Cadigan. It looks very skin-like from here. It is very skin-like. Good call, good call. Oh, okay, someone's bringing up Hamilton and I'm glad, I'm glad because I, that was the next thing I was gonna talk about. So, Catherine Jones, not a huge fan of musicals, but I did think of you watching Hamilton yesterday. I will say I loved it. I'm watching it tonight with closed captioning. I, so I had listened to the soundtrack of Hamilton, but I had never, and I've seen like a lot of live clips of it, but I've never, I've never seen it, seen it. We watched it and I mean, I'm not surprised, but there's so few things that live up to the, the hype. So few things. Um, and Randy admittedly, even he will say he's, I mean, he's a snob sometimes. <laughs> oh, no, no comment. Okay. Um, and so basically we watched it and he was like, that lived up to all of its hype, all of its hype. And it, it really does. Everyone that cast was extraordinary. The vocals, the dancing by Andy Blank and the choreography by Andy Blank and Bueller, Lin-Manuel Mar <laughs> Lin Miranda can do no wrong. Um, it's so many incredible, like unique performances in it. And Jennifer Kleinrock, whatever. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about, but yeah, thank you, Randy. Um, Hamilton is absolutely incredible. And if you have not watched it on Disney Plus, you need to. Um, you need to go and get Disney Plus <laughs> and watch it. Um, King George is incredible, played by Jonathan Groff. I, I mean, honestly, I could just list everyone in the cast because like Dovey Diggs, who plays Jefferson, and he plays uh, Lafayette. So amazing. I cannot imagine doing that show eight times a week. I cannot imagine how on your on top of your game you'd have to be. Their diction is bananas. The acting is amazing. The, I like these people are actors. They're crazy vocalists. They're crazy dancers. It's almost enraging. It's enraging. I'm angry now. Georgia Colster, it's not my favorite musical. Okay. That, that I didn't say it was my, I mean, it, it's up there. It's up there, but that wasn't what I was saying. I'm just giving credit where credit's due. Even if it's not your favorite musical, even if you don't love rap and hip hop, you gotta give credit where credit's due because it's fucking amazing. Just saying. Um, Momo Kitty, David Diggs rapping in French is next level. And yes, David Diggs, the gentleman I just mentioned who plays those different roles, Jefferson and uh, Lafayette, he was on a podcast recently and he is just the coolest dude. I, I wanted like befriend him. He was just so chill, so intelligent, so just diplomatic and lovely and kind. I'm, it's, I have nothing but good things to say about Hamilton. So... <clears throat> Yes, Justine asked, everyone was insane and so good at everything. I could not pick a favorite. They are all amazing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so I'm just scrolling up to see what people said. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Candy L... M. Schmidt, can we discuss the amount of saliva we saw from Jonathan Groff? We can, but I have to say, I, I really, I relate to that because like as a performer, I mean, there are certain people who have more saliva than others to offer the audience, but like that is, his performance is so, he's not even moving. 
he's just standing there and it's all this like intense like anger manifested through comedy through his vocals and his mouth and it's it's just angrily coming out and there's spittle everywhere and it's so perfect <laughs> it's so perfect for that role for that for that villainous role um so good Wow, I just really, I really just went in hard, just became a total fangirl about <laughs> Hamilton. Ken, Ken, Kendall, sorry if I'm butchering your name. Beyonce asked Groff for tips on his sachet after she saw him perform live. He is giving it. He is giving it. Um, Beta Fish, I remember seeing clips a while ago and the girl, here, I'm gonna put on makeup while, while I'm doing this. <clears throat> okay, Pat, this is the Pat McGrath. I mean, are you surprised? This is the Pat McGrath Lab Sublime Shinada Wada Bada Wada <laughs> concealer that literally erases your entire under eye. And if you don't have it, you need it. Watch me just erase my under eye. The, the last comment was about Philippa Sue. She plays the wife and she has the voice of a damn songbird angel person. It, and it just flows out of her. She's not even working. It's just, it's insane. Oh, is, is Britt Clark here? Hi everyone, don't forget to like the stream. Oh, thanks Britt. Yeah, oh shoot, we have 354 people here. Well, damn. Y'all better give it a thumbs up. I don't know why I'm singing everything terribly tonight. <laughs> I'm dancing inappropriately. I'm singing. This isn't what you came for. Let's be honest. Except for Jennifer Kleinrock, who came to see me in the Tapathon. Tapamania. Tap and McTappinson's. How many times did I cry watching Hamilton? Kendall is asking. I clocked in a solid five times. Oh, I was like shambles. Shambles several times, absolutely. Um, what did I wanna tell you? Also, it, it should be noted, it should be noted that there is currently a sale going on um, on the Pat McGrath website, which is what I linked shoot i can't remember what i linked but anyway there is a sale going on and it's tw a 20 percent off sale so if you s you've been wanting some pat mcgrath you better get on it okay speaking of that using this amazing duo this is the look at how it's already like well, this is how used this has become <laughs> this is the pat mcgrath under eye blurring powder um Can I pick a favorite song George is asking me from Hamilton? Um, oh, oh, I can't. I can tell you some favorites I have. I do love You'll Be Back, um, but I, I love, I don't know the names of all of them, that's the thing. Um, oh, Satisfy, I just got a chill thinking about it like like legitimately down my spine satisfied that angelica sings where she's like in love with alexander hamilton and then she does that insane rap that like buster rhymes like <laughs> level <laughs> rap and then she like belts her damn face off i'm just like i'm not gonna throw my pat mcgrath i hope i didn't flash anyone okay no <sighs> it's insane she she's i feel like she doesn't get enough credit or something and maybe she does but i feel like she doesn't because i don't hear about her enough and i think she's incredible um going in with this can we talk about nick cordero for a minute kate lauren is asking yes um we can nick cordero is a broadway star who just passed away from coronavirus. Um, 
it's I don't I don't even know I how to really address that appropriately except to say that he was highly regarded in the Broadway community as just a fantastic man he had a wife he had a baby um, super talented guy and um, he had his leg amputated from what I understand his leg amputated initially because of corona um, and then he fought and fought and he lost his battle with that um, and everyone's really devastated about it it's just awful um, so that's oh sh now I'm now I'm dropping things. <laughs> it's okay, we don't we don't need that anymore. Um, he was only 41, that's correct. But just remember, um, coronavirus, it's a, um, I don't know if you heard, but it's, it's a hoax. Yeah, still, it's a hoax. Uh, hope everyone knows I'm kidding with that. Can you feel the sarcasm? Just dripping through your screen um it's appalling it's absolutely appalling please everyone wear a mask please for the love of god wear a damn mask um <clears throat> jamie mayfield oh, we're going back beta fish it, what is happening with broadway is there any hope for the actors to return in the near future um, uh, I don't know. I don't want to like, I, I'm not. Broadway's closed till the end of the year. Okay. Broadway's closed till the end of the year. He keeps me in the loop. <laughs> um, truly. So, which makes sense because we shouldn't, we should not be, um, you know, that close together in large groups. Um, Lana Levin, thanks for keeping it real, Kate. Lana, thank you for the damn super chat, girl. Um, thank you. Thank you. I was, sorry, I was inundated with so many time. You guys are rock, you're rock stars. Um, oh, oh, there was a drunk history with Lin-Manuel Miranda. Wait, really? Okay, well, we have to watch that. I mean... <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. oh, Chantal, what will the next product be? Okay, I love, okay, I'm moving on. The next product will be the, uh, guys, I don't, you know, I am so sorry that I have, I always use the same powder. I always do, but like, I don't know what else to say. Like, I've never found another powder that's as good as this. This is a Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish. I kind of feel like I don't need any other powder. <laughs> um, I'm just setting my face with it. Sorry, we're talking about some really great topics and I'm getting a little sidetracked, admittedly. Yes, Leslie Mills, the under eye powder is magic every time. I could not agree more. Okay, I didn't say everything was a new favorite. I said most things. Back off. <laughs> is the powder good for people with oily skin? This would be fantastic for people. This is like good for everyone. I don't have oily or dry skin. It's just a combination. And it's just a Goldilocks powder. Okay. Now, oh, I really wanted to use my... Okay, well, I'm using almost all BK Beauty brushes. I did link them down below. They're on sale right now. And I have a 10% off code too. You get both. Just saying. I wanted to use this because this is currently, oh, Britt Clark, the true question, PM powder or CT, uh, Pat McGrath or Charlotte Tilbury. I mean, for under eye, like I, the Pat McGrath. But like, if you just can only buy one, you gotta get Charlotte Tilbury. I mean, cause it does it all. But like, if you could get both, this for under eye, you know, that wasn't helpful. Um, 
Yes, there is a sale on BK Beauty brushes. Her brushes, a lot of her sets and brushes are discounted and all of that. This is my current favorite. This is the 105 Large Buffer Brush. I meant to use this to put my powder on and I forgot, so I'm gonna put a little bit more on. Let's hope I don't turn into an apple witch right before your very eyes. Okay, well that, I don't know, that just made everything, nothing's, nothing's going to get oily now. <laughs> That's for damn sure. Um, what's an apple witch? An apple witch, okay. I'm sorry, I'm just like carelessly flinging this term, this term around that I created. Well, kind of, okay. So when I was a child, um, like in kindergarten, we used to, for Halloween, we used to, witches, and it, we would dehydrate apples and then, um, Chantal, do you want to hear stories or do you want to just watch makeup? Cause you're getting both right now. You're welcome. I guess I won't tell you what an apple witch is. I guess you'll just always wonder. Moving on to the next product. Um, this is the, <laughs> I'm a guilting mother too, remember. Airbrush bronzer, a matte bronzing filter for face and body. Everyone knows, everyone knows what this is. It's my favorite bronzer ever. Yes, when I, when I was here, let me tell this story while I'm doing something. Does that make everyone feel better? So I, we dehydrated apples for Halloween and we would make them into witches, which is admittedly looking back on it now, I just feel like not very nice to witches or women who are the people who are witches. Anyway, not to get too PC. Um, that's just, I just reference that whenever I feel like dehydrated and old because I feel like an apple witch and that's what that is. See, it wasn't that long of a story. We, we used to call them apple dolls. Oh, well, that's very kind. Dolls. Those did not look like dolls. Like little shrunken nightmares. I thought it was a reference to the witch in Snow White, Lynn Picklow. Well, that would be very offensive to the witch in Snow White because that's the evil queen. Um, I don't know if you know this, but like I basically originated that role in Villains Tonight for Disney Cruise Line, so. <laughs> um, but no, really, the evil queen in Snow White is gorgeous. Oh, except when she's not. What? Yeah, yeah, okay, I forget about that part. I just remember her gorgeous, even though I played the hag as well. I always think of them as two different characters <laughs> because they were very separate from me when I had to portray them. However, they are the same, you're right. I'm sorry, Lynn Picklow, you're right. I was just focusing on the gorgeous queen. <laughs> Jamie Kay, the evil queen in Snow White is an apple bitch. Fair enough. Mary Lou Connolly, does that Pat McGrath concealer powder duo work for older eyes? I, can someone uh, speak to that? I mean, I, I, I don't, I'm 37, so I can only speak to that for 37 year old Kate eyes. But if someone else, Debbie, oh, I'm 57 and it works for me. Okay, great. Oh, Jen is like, um, yes, it does. <laughs> Lauren is 56. Oh, she says it's okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Stephanie Windsor. I have older eyes and the Pat McGrath combo is amazing. Well, we've got a lot of varying opinions on here. Um, have at it. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. I don't, here's the deal. Like, I know you guys are like, oh my God, you have no wrinkles and but that's not true. 
it's, it's not true. I mean, I don't, I'm not like wrinkles McGillicuddy, but you know, I'm not, I'm not 22 anymore. And I hate con most concealers. They're way too heavy. I, I feel like, say it with me, an apple witch when I wear them. This is the first apparently full coverage concealer that shears out beautifully. It blends like a dream. And I, I, I don't feel that way at all about this, but again, I'm not, I'm 37. Um, <clears throat> Angel's Beauty 416. I think it depends on your under eyes. Well, I have very dry under eyes and oily lids and the rest of my face is normal. Got it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, moving on. Did we bronze enough? Mm, but did we though? But did we? I'm almost, I'm over here thinking I could maybe get like, this is the medium. I feel like I could get the tan. Oh, shit. We've got 401 people here. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> I did not get the Gucci bronzer. Not to say I, I wouldn't or won't, but I, I just haven't. I feel like I went a little bronzer crazy. Um... Well, welcome to 406 people watching this at the same time. That's fantastic. Now, everyone, give it a thumbs up now. You hear? I think we're bronzed enough. That's the thing about this bronzer. It applies so, like, naturally that I feel like I could just bronze all day long. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Moving on. Moving on. Putting the brushes away, putting things away as we go, making space, making room. That's what you have to do when you live in a 275 square foot apartment. Elizabeth, Sh Elizabeth Schroeder sent $10. Hey girl. Hey, thanks Elizabeth Schroeder for the super chat. Let me just make sure I didn't, I always like to make sure I didn't miss any notifications because that is a disaster when I do that. No. Okay, great. Perfect. Perfect. We're on it. Okay. So here we go. Moving on to eyes. <sighs> Guys, this, this is new. I guess I should be pointing out the things that are new, actually new and a favorite. So really new, the pretty fresh, obsessed, can't get enough, kind of winning out over like other, like other foundations that are double to three times the price, in my opinion. Okay. Um, this I consider to be pretty new. Um, I already talked about it, but I'm obsessed. Okay. Pat McGrath, you know, they're all kind of new, but like we've talked about them so much. It's like, okay, well, it's not new anymore. Okay, moving on. This is a pretty new product for me. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize. This was sent to me originally by Sherry Ford. She sent me the color Champagne, which I was so obsessed with that I promptly went and bought this shade that was recommended to me by so many subscribers. It is called Oyster Pearl. And I wore it the other day. I wore it on... I think I wore it on the 4th of July and I couldn't stop looking at myself, <laughs> which is such an attractive thing to say. Um, but let me just do a little swatchy swatchins for you here. It's so creamy. Like you don't even need that much. You know what I mean? It's just this, let me, let me turn this down. It's getting a little bright. It's like a, like a, sh a, sh taupe taupe shimmery cream eyeshadow it kind of reminds me of my favorite what is the mac eyeshadow i have that i love it is oh it's already worn off satin taupe but like in a cream form and the light is not picking up how pretty it is at all but i'm going to use this and use it right in front of your very eyes is that the old marie antoinette i think so she renamed a lot of these i don't know i don't want to just you know proclaim things that i don't know to be true i know some people um like to 
do that, but I don't. Yeah, I think Marie Antoinette might be a different shade. This just goes on like a damn dream. I was Marco Poling with my friend Sarah Alvarez, who was here earlier. I don't know if she's still here. And she, Marco pulled me back and she's like, what is on your damn eyes? It looks like you have three different shades on. Like, what is that? I was like, it's Charlotte Tilbury, Eyes to Mesmerize and Oyster Pearl. I know, girl, I know. That's all I ever need. Hon honestly, it's like all I ever need. <laughs> and Jean, yes, Carla Cox is saying Jean is another pretty shade. That's That was the gateway drug for me. When Sherry Ford sent me Jean, I was like, oh, it's Jean is now called Champagne, just to be clear. Um, I don't know why she renamed them, but it's very confusing and I kind of wish she wouldn't have because <laughs> it causes a lot of confusion. Um, there is a chocolate, there are different, there's a chocolate bronze that's darker than this. That's the other shade I really want to get. Um, but yeah, so pretty and so easy and like a little bit of drama, a little smoky, smoky times, but also like not too much, too much, not too much. Uh, <laughs> Sarah, Sarah Kleinsmith, so gorgeous. I think they're sold out now. I did link it. This was available when I linked it like an hour ago or an hour and a half ago or something. So um, just check, just check. Okay. So we're going to be extra and we're going to go over that with, I should have, I should have put this in my, the title of this video. I have some new color pop that I'm extremely excited about. Oh, you know, wait for, hold on a second. Hold the phone, hold the damn phone. We're going to use this under our eyes as well, because I was on the Charlotte Tilbury website and I saw that she was using it for under eye and I was like, oh, 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 well, let me try that. She's always using some like 12 year old model. I'm just like, she just grab this person from, from junior high. What's happening? Okay. She also uses, I think she does so occasionally use older models as well, but okay. Okay, well that's going on like a damn dream. Linda of Glitter Fallout told me I can zoom in. Oh, oh my God. Well, that's terrifying. I can't believe it. I've gone this long and I didn't know that. Is that scaring you? Are you guys scared? Am I scaring you? Am I? Am I? Okay. Sassy Red, well, hello there. Oh, oh, hi. Oh, oh, hi. <laughs> Debbie O says terrified. Well, I'm just trying to show you this, this eye Luke. Okay. So you're going to see me up close and you're going to like it. I don't know if I'm going to like it, but That's really pretty. Really, really pretty. Get a little closer. Allie, are you trying to make me look terrible? Is that what you're, is that what you're trying to do right now? This is very dramatic. This is a very, very dramatic <laughs> situation. Renee's like, I don't have a wrinkle on my face. It's not true. There's this, like, there's a little, there's like a wrinkle here and a wrinkle here that if I go too far down with a shadow, it will get like caught in the wrinkle. It's not, it's not a fun feeling. Okay. I think we're good with that though. And then what I'm going to do, 
Maybe I should just, do we like the zoom in? Do we not like, is it too much? <sighs> Renee is throwing me attitude. Oh, please give me a break. <laughs> and also she, that's a crease, Kate. Oh, I have a crease, not a wrinkle. Well, isn't that the same thing? You know what I mean. Okay, I'm just gonna take this delightful BK Beauty fluffy bra. Wow, this is a great zoom in. <laughs> Thanks, Linda of Glitter Fallout, for literally doing her first live stream ever and just knowing how to zoom in. And I was like, wait, what? What the hell? Okay. So I'm just going to take this and I'm just... I learned from um, Miranda... Or Mariah, sorry, Mariah Leonard that, like, a lot of these pearly, pearly eyeshadows, if you take a fluffy brush and really just blend them, they almost become like more smooth and pearly. I don't know if that's the case with this. I could just be talking out of my ass at this point, but. I love it. I love it. So, so pretty. Well, this is perfect because we do need. Emily Salas, Kate, take it from this midlife or start training yourself to sleep upright right now if you don't already. Well, that is a very, very bleak piece of news to offer, Emily. That is very upsetting. It's very upsetting. <laughs> wow, it's harsh. What did, what's happening? What am I missing? What am I missing? Okay. I don't know. Oh, oh, Jamie Mayfield, you can see less of the shirt when you're zoomed. We're going to zoom out, but I, I just really want to show you. So this is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. This is a brand new Super Shock, sh Super Shock Shadow in the shade Ritz. I did link it. It is available because so much of their shit is sold out. Um, but these are still to this day. I'm talking about all the shadows, every shadow. I'm talking about Pat McGrath. I'm talking about every shadow I've ever tried. This is still to this day, my favorite eyeshadow, my favorite formula ever. Okay, so this is Ritz. It is basically a nude metallic. It's like a very thin, my favorite, my favorite kind of glitters are from ColourPop because they're so fine. It, do you feel like a fairy princess? You don't feel extra at all. And the best way to apply them is with your finger. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be that person who takes it all the way up, all the way up. I'm telling you right now, I guess I could have like swatched this. This is next to, is that not just stunning? I'm obsessed. Jamie Leah, those super shock shadows are the cat's ass. So good. I have never heard of that used as a positive, but I am going to take it. And I'm going to run with it. Like that Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow did not, um, didn't need this to be quite honest, but I think it's pretty damn amazing. Pretty damn amazing. Okay. I'm going to zoom out now. Cause this is like, I can tell I might be horrified later on. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So now I almost don't want to close this up. Like I'm so obsessed with this shadow. Like to me, this shadow and the other new color pop that I'm going to pull out is the star of the show, but I'm not even going to tell you what that is. So you're just going to have to wait. Mm. Okay. I'm just going to take a, Damn it. I'm just gonna take like 
this shade that's worn out in this palette that's just the shade of my lid and kind of go over and just make sure it's blended even though we kind of don't need to do that we don't need to do that why am i doing that okay we don't need to do that that's how good those shadows are okay so next moving on to brows we're gonna try to whip through this because brows are boring as hell so this is what zach what's happening some we're talking about people passing away zach braff no 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 what people are, oh my god <laughs> we cannot have this live stream be a source of fake news we cannot and we will not people are saying it's not true i don't think that's this person in here in the kitchen is like an encyclopedia for like what's happening now so i would that would be oh his best fr oh okay nick cordero yes right okay already covered that for sure I'm just not gonna cover it again because it's very, very upsetting and sad and we uh, touched on that. So this is the Milani, <laughs> like I'm just trying to get through this moment. <sighs> okay, Milani Precision Brow. Um, this is the medium brown. This is sufficient. Okay, this isn't a favorite, all right? Like I said, not everything's like a die hard favorite right now or just, I'll point out the things that are the favorites. This is okay. This is kind of replacing my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills brow is, and it's doing a pretty okay job. Beth Irwin, girl, you better hold on. We haven't gotten to cheeks yet. If you think that you're gonna watch a video of mine and I'm gonna forget to do lips, cheeks, or highlighter. You've got another damn thing coming. Calm down, we're getting there. Look, Allie, I love the Going Coconuts palette. I haven't bought a new ColourPop palette yet. Um, they have so many good ones, but I will definitely check that out. Yeah, I'm using the Mirror and the Aha uh -huh, uh -huh Honey palette, which I do. I, I do in some of these live streams want to do kind of like throwback palettes. I think that'd be really fun for some different looks. So I don't know if you let me know. You let me know if that's something that sounds fun to you. Um, okay. We're going we're gonna to do the soap brow. Debbie O, oh, have you tried the Glossier Boy Brow? Wondering how that... Debbie. Debbie. <laughs> Debbie. Girl, that is probably one of my most talked about products since day one on my channel. It's, it's totally okay, but oh my God. I have like, I've stopped talking about Boy Brow because it's literally all I used for like two and a half years straight. <laughs> It's okay. You know what? It's I should. It's it's fine. People come in at different times. You know what I mean? It's totes fine. Just wetting this. Yes, I've tried all the Glossier. I've like I've had to like back off the Glossier because it was like getting to a point where it was like it was. I feel like it was all I was talking about for a while. Okay, so this is oh Courtney Fleischer Fleischer Fleisch like flash, but flashy. <laughs> Fleischer, sorry. Courtney Fleischer is a good job gang member. Welcome. Okay. We're doing the, the Makeup Revolution soap brow. Gosh, can I spit it out? I tried this on my last live stream and I did enjoy it. I really love how it holds my brows in place. Did I miss someone? Oh no, no, still, okay, sorry. I'm, I'm just so overwhelmed with my soap brows that
dim sum. MR, Makeup Revolution. Oh, she doesn't know that Makeup Revolution makes a soap brow. Sorry, this is it. I, I should have showed you. This is the Makeup Revolution soap brow. It's brand new. It just came out. It's very inexpensive and works great. I mean, I don't... I looked at the Patrick Ta and I was like, it didn't have fantastic reviews. And I was like, well, I don't know how I'm going to love a soap brow. So let's just start on the cheaper end of things, you know? Oh, Tanya Friedman is a good job gang member. I'm excited for you new members because you're going to get to see my, um, oh, damn it. My, uh, I want to say blooper, but it's more of a take, uh, outtakes, outtake reel. It's very fun. Okay. We did the soap brows. We're done with brows. Thank God. Cause it's boring. Um, and now I'm just going to go in very, very quickly. I tr itchy nose. Um, I tried the dose of colors eyeliner. This is in, wow. Can I get it together? My God. Um, the dose of colors eyeliner, which actually goes on very buttery smooth. Um, and seems a lot like the urban decay 24 seven glide on liner, which is my favorite. Oh, Tanya said I joined for the bloopers. True story. That's amazing. Well, I'm going to keep them coming. Those are all real bloopers. Okay. There's no, <laughs> I didn't even know I was going to make a blooper reel from that. Um, oh, damn it. I just always like to go in with a liner on the top lash line, even if it's nothing special, because when I put that mascara on, it's like pop, 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 pop. Should I be doing a zoom in? Now I'm obsessed with the zoom ins. Maybe just a, a small zoom in, a small one. Oh, Amanda Sanford. Damn, you guys, everyone's becoming a good job gang member. That's amazing. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, yes. Anon Anonymous Prepper, I'm late, but that hair is popping. Well, thanks. Okay, we're good. We're good. Moving on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are they even? Not really. See, this is where I start to get a little, a little OCD. <laughs> I think they're actually pretty even, but I'm just being a little, a little nitpicky. Okay. Leslie Mills has to go to bed or no, she has to eat Thai food. Bye, Leslie. Enjoy your Thai food, girl. Like Raquel Welsh said, I still don't know how to join. Okay. Um, so yeah. So basically you, ha you don't join on your phone. If you have a laptop or a computer, I would suggest joining that way. It should be pretty easy. It'll just be like a big old join button. Big old join button. Okay. So this I'm, I'm excited about. I've used it before. I haven't used it a lot. It is the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. And I am completely obsessed with this. Obsessed. Um, it gives you the longest lurches. It is a tubing mascara. Um, which I also love because tubing mascaras are really, really easy to wash off. It's not really going to give you, you know, density, but it's going to give you length and you know, I love some length. I guess I could probably zoom in even more and it'd be like really, really extra. It's not It's not super buildable. So you kind of have to be 
You just can't go in again and again. That's all. <laughs> you have to be kind of intentional when you when you use this. And it's also great if you just want to use it for your lower lashes. So good. So, so good. All right. Christian, could you use a regular volumizing mascara and then the Thrive for even more impact? Um, I don't, I think that would clump up, honestly. Um, yeah, I really do think it will probably get kind of clumpy. I do that with roller lash and that's fantastic. But this I find dries pretty quickly and doesn't do well like... I don't know. I, I haven't tried it on top of anything. I just really got the impression that would be a disaster. <laughs> but I could be wrong. Someone tell me if I'm wrong. Is Roller Lash a tubing mascara? It is not. But it is like my all-time favorite mascara ever. Well, I mean, it's hard to say now, right? Because I love this. But it's really hard to beat Roller Lash because you can really build that and you can use it with other mascaras, but it is not tubing. Are people telling me to zoom more? Guys, I don't know about that. That's gonna get a little, a little scary. Okay, so I think we're done with that. And I'm really happy about these eyes. <laughs> this is like my fave, one of my favorite eyes, eye colors ever, eye combination, whatever you wanna call it. Um, okay, so we're coming up to some really fun, great stuff. Whoever was like, what about cheeks? Well. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. So I am pulling out, guys. I'm telling you right now, I told you I was going to use every damn one of these Patrick Taws right before your very eyes, and I meant it. So today, I have not used this shade yet. This is Oh, She's Different. Um, and we're going to use that Patrick Ta technique, which is using the powder blush first. So this is described as a rich plum. Um, and I used it. I used it one night when we went out and I loved it. Loved it. I know it looks like it's going to be too dark. It's not. I don't think I've used this for you guys. If I have, I've totally forgotten. Chantal, I want to thank you for recommending the Patrick Ta. Mine was delivered today. Oh, I'm so glad. It's, I mean, I just feel so confident about this blush that I feel like everyone's going to love it. And if you don't, you're essentially a monster. So Randy said, by the way, to anyone who is still having trouble joining the good job gang, here's a Google uh, frequently asked questions that might help to anyone who is still having trouble. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry. He repeated that. <laughs> He, I think he's going to link something that might 
Oh yeah, he just sent a link to something that will help you if you're having trouble joining the membership. Listen, I just, I just read what's sent to me, okay? <sighs> this is freaking gorgeous. Anchorman. Exactly. Just like Anchorman. Okay. Well, we, we still have the cream blush to put on. So we're going to just hold our horses a little bit here, but is that not already just absolutely stunning? Finished my drink. Okay. Now going in with a damp sponge and we're going in with the cream blush. So if you guys don't know, I was just assuming everyone knows about these Patrick Ta blushes and I probably should not. Guys, 460, 416 people here. If y'all could give it a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. Get on it. Okay, so if you don't know about these blushes, they're amazing. Um, you have the powder blush and his technique is to do the powder blush and then the cream blush and it truly is a great, great technique. So now we're going in with the cream. Just so pretty, so, so pretty. And I, I really, you know, I was initially, it really, I, I love all of them. And don't worry, the next, the next one, the next get ready with me, I, I mean, I don't know. I haven't even thought about it yet, but I definitely have to use the She's So LA because that one didn't speak to me as much, but I think it's probably gonna be stunning as well. This was one that I wasn't as drawn to and look how wrong I was. <laughs> Just wrong. Okay, well that, and it's, I love, there's like this kind of warmth to it, right? It really warms up the face and I feel like, I mean, I don't really believe in like saving certain things for certain seasons, but this is very much like an autumn fall situation. Um, Tanya Friedman, if you're not liking this video, I need you to look at your, <laughs> need you to look at your choices. I mean, it has everything. Well, Tanya, gee, golly gee, thank you. Okay, so done with that. I mean, I have to stop myself or also just keep going. <laughs> um, the next thing I'm going to do is the lip. Look how fun this lip is. This was sent to me by Justine. I don't know if Justine's still here, but this is another, she sent me two Chanel products and I used one of them in the last video and I'm using this. This is the, uh, Chanel Le Rouge Duo Ultra Tenue Gloss. And it is in the shade bright raspberry and so the first things first you do the lip color and it's like a stain and it's very intense like i tried it on today just to see and i had it was, had trouble getting it off <laughs> um Sorry, I'm just reading all these comments. Bonnie, I'm wondering if that powder then cream blush combo will work with other blushes. Yes, Bonnie, I did that in my last live stream. I used it with totally different cream blush, totally different powder. It works. It's not just like a Patrick Ta special. <laughs> it's a technique that works with anything. Um, I'm finding. Okay, well this goes on like butter. The ILNP color is called Short Circuit that I'm wearing. Okay, so that's the first step. You could just leave it there. You could. 
Um, hold on. To just make sure that that's even. You can see that's how much of a stain that is. <laughs> but there's a gloss. Wait, wait, but wait though. We have to make the lips even. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, great, 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 great. Oh, I do love those just matte berry or raspberry lips though. Okay, let's see. And then you go in with the gloss, the gloss, but I'm gonna just put it on my finger because I don't want to, I mean, I guess I could muddle the color because I'm basically gonna use it only with this, but. Actually I am because I'm never gonna use this gloss with anything but this shade probably. So we're just gonna get crazy and just, oh, jo Joanna Yoss is a part of the Good Job King. Thank you, Joanna Yoss. Yoss, Joanna Yoss. Justine, once that gloss is on, Kate, it's not going anywhere. Okay, well, I'm excited. Justine, thank you so much for this gift. That is freaking gorgeous. <laughs> Sorry, I just looked up and I was angry. <sighs> Justine, what have you done? What have you done? My God, now you've got me on Chanel. Fine, fine, have it your way. No, this is truly incredible. Um, Kelly Smith, can you leave a can you leave a pinned comment letting us know how long the combo lasted? Yes, I'm so bad at these things. I don't even. I will figure out how to pin a comment, and I will try to do that. Okay, guys, it, the show's not over yet. <clears throat> We've come to the last section. I'm very excited because oh, well, there's two more things. But these are the new ColourPop Super Shock highlighters okay i got two shades i got well let me just show you i got you're a trip look at as better off red would say head for scale these are huge oh my gosh look at that highlighter just gorgeous so this is like sort of a pearly champagne and then and we're gonna use both or we're gonna use both and then this one is called Manifest That. And it's like a pimp, uh, like a pinky purple. Um, oh, so, so pretty. I mean, okay, here we go. Here we go. So I'm going to, I do find that the Super Shock highlighters are also applied with the finger really well. So I'm going to actually just do that. Okay, so that, that's the You're a Trip. Oh, I forgot to take the the uh, thing off the mirror. Ooh, that's a substantial mirror. We can't, that's a good mirror. Okay. Whoa. Did I miss a super chat? Oh shit. Okay, I'll go back. Hold on a second. Devin Kirk. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. Devin Kirk, $4.99. Thanks for making me laugh so much lately and for recommending Better Off Red. You ladies are life. Devin, thank you. What a sweet super chat. Boop. It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. And I'm actually going to go in it did. I don't even need to blend it out with anything else, but I'm, I am going to just use this BK Beauty highlighter brush just to make sure it's really blended in because we're going with the other. <laughs> we're going in with the other one as well. Okay. The other one. 
I think the other one is actually my favorite. This is the pinky purple one. It's called Manifest That. And hold please, hold please. Taking the weird thing off the mirror. Okay. Let me just show you what that looks like. So pretty. Well, I guess I'll just do that too. Oh my goodness, Grace. Oh my God. <laughs> That's my favorite. I love when there's like a little bit of like a pinky purple flip to the highlighter that just sort of clings on to the blush and just makes it that much better. So, so good. I know this mirror is amazing. <laughs> this whole, uh, what? So gorgeous. How does ColourPop do it? I mean, this was like under $10 or something. Like, I don't understand. I don't, just don't understand. Wow. Wow. Okay, well, those are those. <laughs> this look turned out really fun. Really, really fun. Um, the, the, that, oh, wow. So many good things. Um, stars of the show. Should we do a quick review? Um, the eye, the eyes, the Charlotte Tilbury eyes to mesmerize topped with this damn color pop shadow in the writ in, in Ritz. Um, this lip color is absolutely like out of this world out of this world. Is it shimmery or sparkly? I don't, which product, Linda, are you referring to? Um, and then we have these highlighters, which are just take the cake, really. I'm, I'm so, so impressed. So they kind of are like, to me, they feel really satisfying to hold kind of like the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. Oh, asking about the highlighters, if they're shimmery or sparkly. They're shimmery, they're, they're, I mean, no, they do have sparkle. They have sparkle, they have sparkle, but it's, it's like, it's, it's like the eyeshadow. Like it's so, I don't even know if you can see, you're not gonna be able to see that. Here, let me see if I can swatch it. No, it's not gonna show up because it's such, it's so fine. It's, it's so light, but it's, it's very shimmery. I wouldn't say it's glittery, honestly. Okay, wow. Oh, one more thing, one more thing. Using the brand new Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Party all night, stay all day. This is the mini version of it. Um, there's also a larger version. This is $20 and the larger version is um, 35. But we're gonna make this stay all night long. Okay, guys, that is it. That's the finished look. This was really, really fun tonight. I mean, it's always fun, but this felt extra fun. I don't know why. Um, thank you again to everyone who sent me super chats, everyone who sent me product um, to that damn candle, <laughs> Joan for sending the candle. Um, you guys are the best. Just thank you guys so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. I do this every Monday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on your way out. If you would be so kind as to give this a thumbs up, I would so appreciate it. And if you are digging on my treats, if you're digging on my content, please share the shit you love. Share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter. All those things really help. And my final request is if you guys could follow me on Instagram, I would so enjoy it. I do so many like of my announcements on Instagram. I, you know, I do really fun stories and things like that. And it really helps me out because when I get to 10 K followers on Instagram, I can get a swipe up feature <laughs> and I really want the swipe up feature. So get on Instagram and follow me. Damn it. But really though, follow me. You know what I mean? Like it'd be really, it'd be really good if you can follow me. It's Kate the Great Beauty on Instagram. Anyway, thank you guys again. I will see you on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
have a happy Blackout Tuesday and go and buy damn candles from that damn Harlem Candle Company. All right, guys. See you later.